modeling and then moving to more choreographed stuff is it the other way around or do you start learning classes and then going from there with your own move i just came back from a and e and saw the dance comp it inspired me that's awesome watching the dance comps inspired me too that's how i got into dancing i did not start with learning popular dances i had a choreographer because i used to be in a show and he showed us different moves like the seven step and blocks and whatnot um a message has been received Presence. Stage presence is what you want as a performer. It basically means that when you get on stage, you're just loose, you're not tense, you know how to move and move the audience and move throughout the stage. I think ultimately it's just getting over your fear of dancing in front of other people. And having a fursuit is definitely a great way to kind of explore that and be someone that you usually would not be. You just go to the stage and start dancing and see how other people react. And you'll be surprised at how positively react to you just out there having a good time and that's ultimately how you can get better what is your favorite video game city skylines feeling like your fursuit is the most optimal to dance as it is or planning some change in the future i think what you're asking is am i planning to change or alter my fursuit at all in the future to better my dancing yes a message has been received in love with the quality in love with the quality but um i'm wearing slippers <laughs> So whenever I dance, I dance in slippers. And it's really difficult because slippers, they don't really cling onto your foot very Okay, fella. It'll take more than that, boy. partner you interested in a little friendly competition you were shooting man I've been looking for a challenge and I ain't found one yet what'd you say oh why don't we find out good 
Whoever shoots the most bottles wins, okay? All right. All right, stand alongside me. As soon as you pull your weapon to aim, we let fly. Maybe you were just outgunned. I ain't happy with that, not one bit. What do you say we raise the stakes a little? You're on. Well, that's what I like to hear. How about this? You shoot four birds out of the sky before me, we'll call it a day. All right, rules are simple. We're doing first... The four. You can count to four, I hope. Stand close. As soon as you see him, start shooting. Wait for it. There they go now. But not good enough. Maybe next time. Shoot him and take back that. Oh, you did. Yep. Yeah. yeah. anything about us no it was just a uh, locals a local problem a fella i used to know oh good sir okay well would you please try to keep away from old people while we're getting as much attention i understand boss and i'm sorry for being foolish it was an old thing and my emotions got the better of me thank you dutch You boys are my family now. How's it going? With you. Oh, I've been better. Oh, I'm sorry.
What are you doing? You're a waste of space. Now that ain't nice, Morgan. Can I get five minutes without a fan badgering me? Hey. Ah, oh, ah. Oh. <sighs> Hello, chum. Chum? Do you want an autograph or a photograph? I'm sorry? People often get nervous, but there's really no need to. I I'm just a, just a normal guy who, well, happens to be very famous. Okay. Who are you? Jeremy Gill. Who? The famous fisherman. I've written a lot of books. I'm in the newspaper all the time. Here's one from the New Hanover Gazette from a few years back. And this is a book I wrote. Huh? I wrote it. Good for you. You really don't know who I am? Ah. Oh, well. <sighs> nice to meet you. You too. Arthur. Sure you don't want a photo? Uh, not right now. Oh. You know, mothers, they often offer me... Their daughters. Just for a photograph? <laughs> no! To marry. But I say no. I'm married to the fish. Huh. So 
You're famous for fishing? Very. And that pays well? Uh, pretty well. What I mostly do is send fans stuffed fish. Stuffed fish? Yeah. Here, let me show you. Come with me. <laughs> and you're selling these? Yes. How many do you want? If you get three, we could do a photograph. Together. Like actual friends. No, I'm fine. It's, it's sort of ridiculous. Listen, jump. People love it. And I could sell even more fish if I add them. <laughs> it helps them to know that out there, there's some man fighting with Neptune on a daily basis and winning. Okay. But I can't catch enough of them. And there's really good money in this. I'll fish a little. You do? Well, in that case, send them to me. Uh, of course, uh, not if they're too rotten. Do you like that bass? I'd sell this for $50. I'd give you 15 Send you fish. Ooh, my card and a map. Well, maybe I shall. <laughs> Only the decent ones. They have to be at least 24 inches in length and 10 pounds in weight. No one wants to imagine Jeremy Gill catching a tiddler. There's no money in tiddlers. So I hear. Your distance got a criminal here. Maybe could be worth paying off Bounties X3. Now laugh. <laughs> laugh. Ain't nothing like playing a game with a bunch of children.
Must withhold your bad reputation. MOG face with stuck out tongue. Laughing. You are the bester. Poker bad. Best. LOL you freed them from deaths. Yes. Too kind, MOG red hard. Black. Do you smoke, sir? Sure, but <laughs> perhaps not as much as you. Oh, <laughs> no, no, don't worry about these. Actually, well, take some. Take a couple of packs. Take a few. Oh, thank you. What are all the cigarettes for? Are you heading on a long journey or something? <coughs> no, 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 nothing like that at all. I'm just interested in the cards. Okay. The cigarette cards. Oh, you got any? Yeah? Well, get them out. Let me take a look. Come on, come on. A little picture card? Yeah, I'll pay you a good price. Okay. Here. Ah, nothing I haven't got. The value is in completing the set. Sometimes I'll smoke up to 200 cigarettes in one day, just so I can keep opening the packs. I wish I could explain to you the pleasure and the pain I get out of collecting these babies. Sure. Well, it sounds, uh... Thrilling? Yeah, it is. Not to mention the vast amounts of life-reaffirming cigarettes I get to smoke. Oh. Six and are healthy. <laughs> A veritable fortune, sir. Fortune? Oh, sure, sure. A complete set of any series is worth a fortune. Yeah, look at this. Gunslingers. Over here? Circus freaks. Yes, yes, yes. Meow meows of the desert. So rare. I never knew. Sure. How much? Well, it depends on the rarity, sir. Oh, uh, of course. Yeah. But, you know, if you ever get a complete set, I can uh, take it off your hands. And you'd pay me. A fair price. Now, you send them to me right here. Phineas T. Ramsbottom. 
at your service. Okay, I gotta run. This is my train. Look me up, okay? Think about this deal. Only a complete set. That's where the value lies. Don't understand this at all. Hey, over here. What's the problem? Problem? No, there's no problem. Quite the contrary. Well, there is a problem for me, but not for you. All right. <laughs> I ain't got time for no, this. Well, no, wait. Give me a minute of your life. I might just change it forever. I'm sure you will have heard of me. Maximo Cristobal Valdespino, the renowned explorer. Can't say I have. There has been much written about me. I once had high tea with the Viceroy of India. I helped liberate South America. I've climbed mountains and swum across seas. I have had many women. I've spent the last three months hunting treasure on the American frontier. Beautiful country reminds me a lot of Almeria. But tomorrow I set sail for the island of Shikoku in the Japanese archipelago in search of the legendary Tokushima Sapphire. Well, good for you. No, no, hold on. You see this map here? It was made by the Jack Hall gang. They robbed banks all the way from here to California. Yeah, I know who the Jack Hall gang are. Oh, them you have heard of, but me? Huh. Well... Uh, rumor has it they buried gold somewhere in this area, but were killed before they could retrieve it. They created two maps to ensure it was well hidden. This is the first and should lead you to the second. You just need to follow the landmarks drawn here. Me? Yes. Unfortunately, I am out of time now, but I am prepared to sell it to you for the low price of... ten dollars. A trifling investment for a man such as you, given the potential returns. Ah, uh, what the hell? Why not? A very wise investment. I wish you the best of luck. Oh yes. LOL. They actually thought that back then laugh. What? That six wear healthy. Oh, uh. late XD.
X3. Greetings. Good to see you. How are you, mister? Costing you a pretty penny to repay your debt. Hate to say it, but nice doing business with you. Thank you. here I took a little jolt and have managed to get myself hopelessly lost I am staying in strawberry if you could just guide me back can't think of a good reason to say no oh thank you thank you sir well after you oh, what no. possessed me to come out here I'll never know <laughs> What are you doing out here anyway? Clearly ain't your natural... I bet he was masturbating there. Uh, no, I'm just visiting. I, I, I'm from New York City, actually. Laugh. You don't say. None of this is familiar to me, but it all looks the same, so... Okay, now where was I? Ah, yes! Oh, yes. There was some talk at the country club about this burgeoning little resort town called Strawberry. So I thought it might be quite the trip to see what all the fuss was. Perhaps make a few investments while it was still undervalued. Turns out I was made the fool. Not enjoying it, Dan? It's a town of splinters. If you could call it much of a town at all, I'd hardly stepped off the carriage and I'd taken in the whole place. I suppose some might call it charming. <laughs> Let me tell you, charm is not worth much these days. You show me a timber frame shack, and I'll show you Broadway. And meanwhile, you have this mayor, a quite intolerable blowhard. A little bespoke woodwork, and he thinks this is a cultural hub? The man's completely deluded. Well, I should give him some credit. He must be quite the salesman. He did get me out here, after all. More fool me. Now I'm tromping through the leaves in the muck with some... 
Cowboy, N no offense. Little taken. Oh, yes, this does look familiar. Close to town? When did I become an escort? Sort, sir. For some and not reason, the fun kind either laugh. Strawberry, you may want to look into that gabbing mayor. Something is definitely off with him. You laugh. Keep that in mind. Win homes. I didn't expect to run into no one out here. Hmm. Funny how far a man's debts will follow him. You got some money for me, boy? I've seen your name in our ledger. You're with the German? Look, I, I got it for you. It's just, I don't got it yet. It it's up in them hills. Hmm. You panning for it? Hunting it. I tracked this cougar. It's rare. Lily white coat, the pelt to more and cover what I owe. If I'm skinning anything, I'm skinning you, boy. No, please, I'm out of work. It's the only way you'll get paid, and, and all the hard work's already done. Fine. Move. We'll, um, uh, need our horses. It's, um... Quite a trip. Yeah, yeah.
This den's a ways, so uh, mount up. Damn it, Arthur, you're too nice. Go, boy. All right, drive, boy. Let's get where we're going. LOL Just kneecap the fuck Okay, follow me Drive! I'm driving Make me come out here, make me chase all over this goddamn mountain Hey, you knew it Laugh. was a risk I didn't know nothing, your name's all I knew Well, the German-speaking fella then, Mr. Strauss He knew my work situation was precarious That this whole thing was a a risky venture. Boy, risky? I mean, I at risk now? Are you threatening me, Winton Holmes? I ain't. No, certainly not. Sir, I'm... I'm merely stating a man without a job, with limited prospects, at those rates, repayment was by no means guaranteed. I said I'd do my best, and I did. You're continuing to annoy me. We're going right here, up the stream. Hey, how about this then? I guarantee repayment. Because I'm going to get that money out of you. If I got to squeeze you like a lemon, it's coming out. Yeah, of course. We're onto it now, okay? We're onto it now. The cash is in that cougar, mister. Sure as pumpkins ain't cauliflowers, the cash is in that cougar. It better be, or I'll turn you into a goddamn cauliflower. Up here, we ain't too far now. What I know about cats, this one's rare as hen's teeth. I mean, you ever seen an alabaster wildcat? Big thing about cougars. Is they see you, not the other way around. That may be, but you'd see this one. I've been hunting with my pa. Shot all kinds of cats. Never one like this. In another life, I'd have sought my fortune outdoors. Not in the hot, stinking belly of a tar pit. I ain't interested in your regrets or your life story, Mr. Holmes. Just your damn money. Drive. Den. We should leave the horses. Whoa. Who there? All right. Show me. You'll see her soon. Quiet now. You'll be able to miss her shining in the dark. I bet she's white as virgin cotton. cotton. The tunnel diverges up here. I'll take the left, you go right, and we'll see if we don't converge down a ways. And look out for her. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Oh! 
Holmes? Winton Holmes? She got him. Crap. Damn dead deader. Idiot. Penny was idiot, LOL. Oh shit. WTF. So you need the bow? What? That'll be rare. I'm so confused. Shrugs. Get out of here, horse. Your man ain't coming.
You heard that gang's been roving the apartment. Okay, then. You come see me again now. your business in peace. I beg of you. Good morning. Welcome to our fair welcome, city. Welcome. Citizens, enjoy yourselves. Visitors. I need a wash. You got a bath? All right. Head on over when you're ready. You need someone to take over for you? I'm all right, thanks. Sure, sure. I'll leave you in peace. to stay another night? Another bath? I accidentally left before done. Oh, okay. Fine up. 
Feeling fresh, I hope? I'm sorry, boy. This horse got worms or something. Damn, it's skinny. If you want me to keep that overnight, there's room in the stable. There's a reason this breed fought in all them wars in Europe. These'll go damn fast, so hang on. Best to have a good saddle that'll hold up. Good saddles is almost as important as a good horse. Daddy was a blacksmith, right here in this shop. That's how I got learning it. Seen quite a few horses coming through with Spaven. I got one of them myself. Adding on to a saddle helps personalize it. Nice! You only live once, lest you're a cat. That's a nice addition on a saddle. Always good to have one of those. <laughs> huh. 
<laughs> I got one of them myself. Wish more folks took care of their horses like you. Be right back. Okay.
Okay, back. Welcome back. TY. After a bounty? I can tell. If so, we got a poster on the wall just there. Damn! Word is he's made a home out of an old mine up in the Big Valley Mountains. But you might want to leave that one on the wall. Josh Brown to be a hard man to kill, let alone capture. And that's what we're asking for. Stay safe out there. Okay, fella. Mister? <laughs> yeah, you all right there, boy? You got a bullet coming, you don't stop still. This here is a hold up, you know what to do. Why don't you stretch your legs, huh?
It's a westerly, so... Or is it an easterly? We're fine. We're fine. As long as it doesn't pick up, we're fine. Hello again. Hello. Oh, hello. How are you, sir? Uh, Morgan. Mr. Morgan. I'm sorry, my... My nerves. I'm not quite the outdoor adventurer I thought. This is God's own country, and I feel I'm in purgatory. I know the feeling. No, I hope not. What you trying to take some pictures of, huh? Some more greedy coyotes? No. Wolves. Wolves? Well, you really are trying to get yourself eaten. Oh, I hope not. I left the meat over there. I thought I'd be safe. Given the wind. Yeah, sure. You managed to attract the world's least intelligent wolf. Well, I... I... I'll stay with you a while. If anything comes, I'll protect you as needed. You are a gentleman. Now, you don't know me very well. Well, to me, you're a gentleman. Usually, I'm worse than the wolves. You had many dealings with wolves, Mr. Morgan? Sure. But you've never been eaten. Not through lack of trying on their part. A while back, I helped a friend from getting devoured. Usually, they are not great fans of man. I don't blame them. Me neither. But shh. Here's one. Looks like we got company. Yes, yes, there they are. In the trees. Now, don't do anything. I'm going to take a few photographs. Come on. Come on. Good boys. Hungry boys. Come on. Stay back, stay back. Can't have a man in the frame. They'd think it's staged. Yeah, sort of is. Look at them. Magnificent creatures. Especially when clawing at your eyeballs. Come on. Stay still, my beauties. seem to be fans of my Do something, Mr. Morgan! This fool of an eye! I tell you! You want it, bro? Kept the wolves from the door. My whole futile existence flashed before my eyes. Yeah, they can be pretty aggressive. What a way to literally a dog's dinner. Still worse things happen at sea. Do they? <laughs> well, I imagine. Perhaps wolves do better at sea. Are they good swimmers? Well, who knows? You have saved my poor foolish skin once again. Don't mention it. Well... I can't begin to repay my debt of gratitude, but no, I am eternally in your debt. I do, Mr. Mason, I do. You take care now. And you too, sir. Who put that there? Yep. LOL. 
Easy, easy. Yeah. The tree was coming right at you. It had a gun. Okay there, boy. Yes. I saw it. Yeah. Look who it is. Horse died.
said. Well impissed have to go back to old save. Oh feck.
Okay. 